Hey there guys, it's me, Creepin' J, and welcome to, uh, Berry Witched. No. We're back here again. So we can just skip past all this. So I think I know how to get the kid out now. Based on the last video. And also, Spacebar does that. So. Yeah. So. We get the child out. Yep, let me go to the apron. Let me go up here. Let me go over here. Now let's just sweep through it. There we go. I can just do that, it's faster. Alright. Okay, child. Lamp. That thing, I guess. A beautiful painting is someone holding a cherry. I tried taking it off the wall, but the dang thing wouldn't budge. Guess nothing useful here. Lamp! The lamp! The drawers had pads of paper stashed inside. Nothing of use. Nothing of use, huh? Are you sure I can't have even a sip? Yes, rubbery, I'm sure. Aww. Measure from around the wall. He's the cutest of them all. Sorry, you seem distracted by the mirror. I'll leave her for now and investigate it after. Wise choice, I guess. Not at all. Seven. Oh. There you go. Wait. Can it? You must knock me out and drag me back. Oh, darling. She called out for me a sickening sweet voice. I tried to open my mouth to respond, but. <laughs> Ugh! Sure, you seem to have plans that involve me not speaking. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. <laughs> um. <laughs> it's just you and inquiry. It's just you and me inquiry. Since you're so adamant on escaping, I want to make sure this time you will listen to me. I love you, inquiry. I'm trying to save your life, whether you like it or not. This is the best outcome for you. The everlasting may seem bad, but I promise you, there are things with the council you don't know. Muffling groans of protest were all I could say to show my disdain. There are things out there they haven't told you. Things we've spent countless cycles trying to do. This goes so, so much deeper than you thought. It's not just a cute girl gone wacko like you think. I'm truly apologetic for getting so carried away. This is life and death here. I have a family to protect, and I'm trying to protect you too. I know you've questioned the things they've done before, Ingrid. The things they've made you do. You're a good person with a kind heart. How? How long have you followed them blindly? Haven't you ever wondered if you're really on the right side? To tell the truth? I understand that feeling all too well. But when the time comes, we'll have a choice to make. What will you choose? Confusion, okay. Interesting. Confusion, yay. Oh god. Yeah, we can just skip past. Skip, 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 skip. Come on, skip, skip. Thank you. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve. Thirteen? Twelve. I shot an desperation. <sighs> Save. Okay. There. So we gotta listen to this. Okay. Howdy. Jerry. 
premiered message that goes off from an authorized person is sent in this room. So a little meat pie, you're not supposed to escape. Meat pie. And the author chance that you're authorized that this is true about mistake. Mostly is if you know me well, cut all the things you love about me. Everlasting. Is necessary. Warders do one. And it's all in ones. I shot an aspiration. Two. <sighs> Cherries. Mm, it's, yeah, maybe it's the number of trays. I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Try this before. But I didn't count the um the ones on the lamp. I don't think. Please be right. Nineteen, it's nineteen. <sighs> hey. <laughs> a worrying sound echoed before the mechanism released strawberry, dropping her onto the ground. Bark had coughed and wheezed, he was practically almost crushed. Strawberry, you alright, kiddo? I spoke when you down beside her. She didn't seem to have any major injuries from what I could tell. Meat pies. Were they all... The real the realization seemed to finally dawn on Strawberry, causing tears to well up in her eyes. Cherry, Cherry made some of those pies special for me. Hey, did I eat a witch? She covered her mouth, looking beyond horrified. As long as I want to help Strawberry, it's too dangerous to stay in this room. We've already been here far too long for my liking. What matters most right now is find out we get out of here and help. Can you stand? I'm going to save right here. I I don't think so. Strawberry wobbled to her feet. She looked off balance. It would be bad if she fell somewhere and got even more hurt. Do you want me to carry you? Yes, please. All right, kid. I'll hop my back. Well, the little one climbed my back, clinging arms around my neck, deciding not to comment on how she was nearly choking me. <laughs> I stood up and made my way to the now unlocked door. The long hallway greeted us. The other side was illuminated with light. To our right, there was a dark corridor that seemed to be another room. Okay, I, I guess we'll save again. <laughs> I was inclined to head towards the light, the thing that may be the way out. And so I heard familiar, haunting laughter came from that same direction. Sil Silently moving towards the other hallway was our only choice. One that I wasn't very fond of. Entering the new room, I noticed some of closets, cabinets, and other places to store belongings. I maneuvered my way quietly through the storage room, one arm holding on strawberry, and the other searching through the endless drawers, boxes, and cabinets. Aha! Phone communicator. I turned my head to tell pink-haired child the news, but I noticed a heartbreaking frown on her face. You okay, kiddo? I just, I just don't get it. Last week, me and Cherry were celebrating my special day, but now she's. Starry pointed her little finger towards the wall. There, I noticed a photograph of two witches side by side, pinned with pride. Lardy got her specialty. 3 out of 16. It was bittersweet. Truth be told, I'd actually been able to like Cherry Pie myself. She's hardworking, caring, and lovely cons conversationalist. This change in her. It truly did feel unchar uncharacter uncharacteristic. Seeing this photo now puzzled me more than ever. 
no matter how hard I try to stay focused on the task at hand, I just can't believe any of what's happening. It doesn't feel right. I was really sad out my thoughts when I heard a rat rat a tat tat noises made by cherry shoes. Skipping too lightly too close towards us. My first instinct was to hide, but it was really in the good spots in this room. I have to make sure Strawberry's safe too. I can't predict what Cherry might do at the moment. Hide you both. Me and Strawberry crammed together, hiding as quietly as we could inside of the closet. It was the only port only option I could think of with such little time. <laughs> Hello, Inquiry, what are you doing with my sister? The tree witch grabbed the collar of my shirt, yanking me out of our hiding place. <laughs> you get away from me, you disgusting pervert. Oh. Pervert? No, Cherry. Before I explain my piece, Cherry continued her scolding in my face. I thought I knew you. I thought you were nice. Why? We were hiding from you. I can't let you hurt a child, Cherry. To Cherry? Sorry, I peeked her head out of the closet, to which Cherry immediately hopped in front of her in the defensive position. Hurt a child? Hurt my sister? Everything I've done here is for her. To protect her, I can't let her grow up alone with no hope like I had to. Our parents, these, these have all their magic to keep us alive, Inquiry. They gave up everything for us. All I had was my sister. I'd do anything to keep her from harm, even if that means I have to kill you too. But wait! Wow. Okay, um. Cherry didn't hesitate in the slightest. Before I knew it, Thorny vines were trapped in my very form. With one suffocating, painful crunch, I felt life drained from my body. Sisterly love. Jesus. Hide Strawberry. I adjusted my grip on Strawberry, hoisting her up into a nearly empty cupboard overhead. Miss Inquiry, without hesitation, I hand my communicator over to Strawberry. I lifted a finger up to the girl, as a gesture we need to be quiet. Carefully, I whispered up at her. Okay, Kettle, I have a favor to ask you. And this is really scary, and I promise it'll all be over really soon. Sherry's gonna come in here, and I'll be taken away. Once it's safe and she's far away from this room, you press the top red button on that thing I gave you, alright? It'll track your location and call my buddies at the council for help. Do you understand? Strawberry shake shakily nodded, trying to hold back tears. Hey, kiddo. I promise. Everything's going to be alright. I tried to put a common comforting voice on face on for Strawberry as I closed the cupboard doors. Truth be told, I... I don't have time... I, I don't have time to think of a plan. Cherry's gonna be here any minute, and... Speak of the devil, here she is. What do I do? What to do with you? I love you, but you tried to escape. But I love you, but... So looking in consciousness in a room, I now dread more than ever. I saw an erratic cherry which mumbling to herself in front of me. Of course, I was tied up with many, many vines. Too many vines, if I'm being frank. Why did you do it? I'm trying to help you. Why don't you just listen to me? I stayed silent, still mentally processing the last however long I've been here. Ugh. I don't feel good. Cherry knelt over, looking as if she was about to puke. You okay? Y yeah, I... This happens. Sometimes. Hmm. <laughs> Not to worry, my love. I made sure to lock up the shop. I'm thinking you interrupt us now. I promise, my darling. I won't let you out of my sight ever again. A crash was heard behind Cherry. Flashing lights glittered in my eyes. Voices I recognized called out my name. She did it? She did it! There was so much chaos 
of spells firing back and forth. It smelled like a mix of ice and burnt ash all at once. Very unpleasant. Get your hands off me! I heard Cherry scream. I looked up to see her struggling to fight a beam of light that encaptured, encaptured her form completely. It didn't take long after that for my buddies to pry me out of those vines and bring me out of the nightmare. I should be happy. I escape, right? I caught a member of the Everlasting. There's probably more information down there that could help the Council of Witches. But honestly, I'm just so tired. Every time I look for answers, I'm either running a wild goose chase or severely scared by what I find. I'm tired. I just wanted to go to a cafe and enjoy a nice slice of pie. I didn't ask for any of this. Strawberry. But wait, you can't take me away! I heard Cherry Pie's protest as she was escorted out of the hidden part of the building. I have a sister I need to take care of, please! You, you can't do this! So, Strawberry, sweetheart, there you are. You know I'd never hurt you, right? Right? Strawberry silently cowered behind me, clinging, clinging at the back of my sleeve. Strawberry? My heart ached for Cherry, truthfully. I still can't wrap my head around that girl. My head also ached from, well, everything. But nothing compared to the hurt I felt when I looked back at that little girl. She looked at me with the saddest expression as two of my buddies took her aside to talk with her. Kiddo. She really is a sweet gal. She's gonna be all alone now, isn't she? Alright, Miss Inquiry, thank you so much for signing out the paper. Alright, Miss Inquiry, thank you so much for signing out the paper in such a timely manner. I'll be sure to bring her out right away. Who did she, did she adopt Strawberry? I think the receptionist wiped my sweaty hands off my pants the second she turned around. At first, I was uncertain if I should do this. I mean, I've never dealt too much with the kids before. But then I saw. But then when I saw that kid walk into the room, safe in a one piece, it finally clicked in my brain. The relief, the joy. Miss Inquiry, what are you doing here? I believe I owe someone a tall glass of lemonade, don't I? Aww. Her smile lit up the. Her smile lit up the room. I couldn't help but. Want to protect it. Was that really so bad? If being a parent means wanting to protect a kid more than anything in this world, I don't think I'll do too shabby. <laughs> Strawberry ran towards me once she realized I was here for a fun reason. Wrapping her arms around me, I leaned down lower to give the kid a big, friendly squeeze. Yay! Missing Cree! Missing Cree! I did it! I pushed upon it like you said! You did, kid. I'm so proud of you. You had to deal with a lot of hard stuff lately, but, the, but rest assured, I'll be watching over you now. Wait, does this mean... Yep, kiddo. As of two minutes ago, you're officially my kiddo. <laughs> I ruffled her hair playfully as she laughed, as her laughter filled the air. <laughs> Yay! Does that mean I'll get to live with you, Miss Inquiry? Yep, you're stuck with me. Unless, well, you don't want to go with me, that is. No, no! I want to go with you. I want lemonade! I knew that the reality of what this girl went through hasn't completely hit her yet. I knew when it did, it would hit hard. She doesn't deserve to be alone through all of this, you know? I... I want her to... I want to be there to support her. Having that realization, I just felt like this was right. Hand in hand, I decided right then that no matter what, no matter where she goes or who she wants to be, I would always love my little Billy Witch. The true ending! <laughs> yes!
finally. <sighs> well, that was just that was a roller coaster. This has been a roller coaster. Like, seriously. But, um, yeah. Th <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I'll see all of you in the next, in the next one. See you.